Welcome to this little tutorial for Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, I want to show you how to animate a an overlay image. Show you what I mean at the moment. In my video for Arrow Mania to the end, I've got my bird character. Uh, I've imported him as a single image at the moment, and he's overlaid in my video. If I quickly show you him flying across the screen, being chased by this vacuum cleaner, you'll see he's a single frame animation. Static doesn't flap his wings, and I want him to flap his wings. I'll quickly show you this. Okay, so the best way I figured out to do this is to have a compound animation. Oh, so now I'm going to import my two images. Here they are in Finder. I've got them both selected. And I'm just going to drag them in. And try and wait for it to make space. There we go. Drop them there. And back in here. I've got the two frames there. They're both one second long at the moment, which is a bit long for my animation. Um, I'm going to select them both. Hold down Command and click. I'm going to Control and D to change the frame time, and I'm going to go for six frames per second. Okay, let's join them two back together. Whoops, don't mean do that. Click on one. And we've got them both joined together. Select them both again. And then I'm going to make these into a compound clip and call it Birdlap. Magically it changes into one clip. Okay, so we can play that. And um, we've got a very brief uh, bird flapping its wings there. Um, I think I'm going to open up that clip and we're going to add some more frames to it. Basically, we're going to copy this one over here. So that's Control C, Control V, or Command C, Command V. And copy the next frame to the end of there. Paste. And repeat this a couple of times. I'm just going to do all four. Zoom out a little here, make life easier. Okay, copy and paste right there. Paste again, and paste again, and paste again, and again, and again. And again, I've got six seconds worth now. I think I only needed four and a half, but good to be sure. Go back out of our compact compound clip. Unfortunately, the wrong time. We do Control D on that and change it to six seconds twelve. There we go. We have our flattened bird. Now, uh, going back to my previous animation, I now want to swap these over. It's a simple case of copying this. Copy, could have done Command C, and pasting, not the direct paste, but paste attributes and uh, the transition. So it's going to paste in its position as it flies across the screen and I've got some rotation in there and of course the scale is different so it's going to do that Click paste and at the moment I've got them flying over the top of each other I don't need this one anymore just going to trash that backspace and I've got my finished 
flying bird with its flapping wings. Okay, now say I wanted to change the speeds of the animations, obviously I've got to go back into my compound clip now. Uh, this is a compound clip inside a compound clip, so go into this one. And we're back to the individual frames. And uh, So in here, again, if I want to change them all to the same time, select them all, hold down shift, uh, and do control D, and let's make it four frames per second. It's a bit faster. And there we have it. Of course, it's short, shortened to there. I might have to copy and paste a few more on and repeat the process that we did earlier. Okay. Let's see how it looks with a quicker animation. Yeah, it's a lot better. Cool. Hope you found that pretty easy to follow. Um, more tutorials in the future, probably. Bye for now.